Reseller Variety Show Episode 5, Find a Specialty. I've resold many items over the years. I run a, I run a small engine business uh, selling snowblowers, riding lawnmowers on the side. Uh, I do a lot of online selling uh, right now, specifically with football cards. Uh, I mentioned that in a previous episode. Uh, and what I've learned from working with particular items is that it pays to find a specialty. And even within those different product lines, if you want to call it that, for snowblowers, riding lawnmowers, football cards, I really try to hone in on a particular machine or a particular player uh, to procure. And the reason that I do that is it's way more efficient and cost effective to do it. For example, with the snowblowers, the first couple of years, I really stumbled on what to buy and chances are I would buy almost anything that I could get my hands on so that I could buy it, fix it, resell it. But it was also extremely time consuming to do it that way. And a small business is time consuming in and of itself. But in addition to that, I was wasting a lot of time buying machines that I knew very little about. And so a couple years into it, I started to specialize and go after particular units, Toros and Arians and things that uh, machines that had very predictable parts, easy to find parts. Some of the machines I was buying earlier on, I couldn't even find belts for and other parts for occasionally. But I would, I'm would, i looking for very particular units because I know the work that I'm going to have to put into them in between. And so my time in being able to fix those has gone way down and from a procurement standpoint and think about any of the items that you're reselling, I know the products so well because they're the specific ones that I go after. I know exactly what it, what it's worth to pay for those machines. And so I know where to start my negotiation at. Um, if someone's asking more than I want, I'll go back to episode one and say, would it be an insult to offer you $250 or whatever the number is? But I know exactly what my negotiation range is for those machines. With football cards, it's the exact same thing. Right now I'm buying, or I have purchased, a lot of Lamar Jackson cards about a year ago. And I knew exactly what I was willing to pay for each individual year and brand of those cards. Because I was going after the same ones over and over and over again. But at first, I didn't. And so I was paying much more occasionally for cards that... I just had no business spending that much money on them. So, episode five, specialize. Even within an individual product category, find particular items that you can go after to bring down your costs. We'll see you next time.